Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic reproduction in organisms and this video is presented to you by www.exam.com. So as we have discussed in our previous video about the introduction of sexual reproduction now we are going to discuss on pre-fertilization events in which we will cover gametogenesis and gamete transfer. So what are the characteristics of sexual reproduction? So in sexual reproduction two parents were involved of different sex which is one is male and the another one is female. Each parent produces sex cell which is called gamete. The gamete are haploid cell which uh, are produced by meiotic division and the fusion of gamete forms a single cell diploid zygote. So now we will uh, uh, consider it like this that we will take an example of human human has 46 number of chromosome so uh, in male it is 46 number of chromosome and in female also it is 46 number of chromosome so this is the 2n condition diploid condition this is diploid cell this is also diploid cell. After this, the meiotic division takes place, and this uh, 46 number of chromosome will be divided into two, like this, and became haploid cell. Now, this haploid cell will fuse. Now, this contains 23 number of chromosomes in each cell, and then afterwards, when the male and female uh, cell uh, gamete will fuse, it will form a zygote having 46 number of chromosomes again, and this will become a diploid cell so now this is a single cell uh, zygote now in zygote repeated mitotic division will take place this is a single cell zygote in which repeated mitotic division will take place it will first divide into two then in four cell and likewise it will form uh, group of cell which is called embryo ok so the individual form is genetically different from both the parents but resemble to both the parents in certain features as it contain half of the number of chromosome from male and half of the number of chromosome from female ok Pre-fertilization events. There are two main pre-fertilization events which are gametogenesis and gamete transfer. So what is gametogenesis? The process of formation of gamete is called gametogenesis in male and female. So in male it is called spermatogenesis and in female it is called oogenesis. So in male spermatogenesis takes place inside the male reproductive organ which is testes and oogenesis takes place inside the female reproductive organ which is ovaries. So first of all we will discuss spermatogenesis. It is the process by which the male gamete is formed. The male gamete which is called sperm is created which is haploid containing half of the number of chromosome. So in this meiotic division will take place in which first the replication of DNA will take and after which the division uh, will take place twice. So in testes the germ cells are found which is called spermatogonium. Spermatogonium. So now this spermato in this spermatogonium it will divide 
mitotically and will produce primary spermatocytes so this primary spermatocytes replicates and after which the division will take place meiosis 1 after the meiosis 1 division the secondary spermatocytes will form in which it contain the half of the number of chromosome after which again the meiotic division will take place meiosis 2 forming spermatides now these spermatides have the half of the number of uh, chromosome and the other half of the number of chromosome is present in the female gamete after which the both will fuse and form a zygote so this spermatide is not motile but after that it converted into sperm and this sperm is motile now we will discuss oogenesis so in ovaries the germ cell is called oogonia so this oogonia is formed inside the female body before the birth of the female so this oogonia is diaped germ cell this oogonia develop into the primary oocyte at the time of puberty and this primary oocyte goes into the meiotic division forming the two cells in which one degenerate this is the polar body so it degenerate and the other containing more cytoplasm so this division in is uneven division so this contain more cytoplasm after which the secondary oocyte goes into the meiosis second division which is also uneven and containing half of the number of chromosome this is haploid this is also haploid spermatide and the primary oocyte this is diploid this is also diploid so after the secondary oocyte goes into the meiosis second division it will form an uneven cells in which one will become the polar body which is non fertile which is which does not have any ability to fertilize and will degenerate and the other will contain more cytoplasm so it will conserve the cytoplasm and is ready for fertilization so this meiosis 2 division will take place when there is an entry of sperm into the uh, ovum will take place so if there when the entry of sperm will take place then only this meiosis the secondary oocyte will go into the meiosis 2 division or else it will not it will remain as a secondary oocyte now gametes are haploid cells so these are of two type isogamete and heterogamete so if the male and female gametes are identical in structure like for example in cladophora and algae you can in alga you can see that this is flagella this is chloroplast and this is nuclear so you can see that this is the male gamete and this is female gamete both are morphologically similar but in heterogamete the male and female gamete is morphologically dissimilar so this is male gamete and this is female gamete and these both are morphologically dissimilar to each other same as in human this is female gamete which is ovum and this is male gamete which is sperm so in human you can see heterogamete 
which are morphologically dissimilar to each other male and female gamete both are morphologically dissimilar to each other okay now if male and female reproductive structure is present in the same organism then it is called bisexual and if present in the different organism then it is called unisexual so the bisexual condition in which the male and female reproductive structure is present in the same organism in fungi and plant it is called homothallic and monoecious and the unisexual condition in which the male and female gamete were present in the different organism so in that condition it is called heterothallic and dioecious in fungi and plant in flowering plant the unisexual male is called staminate bearing stamen stamen is male reproductive organ in flowering plant while the female is called pistillate bearing pistil pistil is female reproductive organ in flowering plant stamen okay now in this diagram you can see the monoecious plant the monoecious plant is a bisexual plant in which male and female organ is present in the same plant this is the male sex organ this is the female sex organ in dioecious plant the male and female organ are different and present in different individual different uh, individual plant uh, you can see in dioecious plant and in uh, bisexual flower you can see the stamen and carpel is present in the same flower so the male and female gamete is present in the same flower so uh, in animals a pair of testes is present in the male this is the pair of testes it is present in male and pair of ovaries is present in female these are the ovaries which is present in female and these are testes okay now hermaphrodites are those animal which are bisexual having male and female reproductive organ in the same organism for example earthworm leech and tapeworm so in this diagram you can see the earthworm having a segmented body they are present a pair of testes in this diagram this is a pair of testes and this is a pair of ovaries present in the same organism these are ovaries and these are testes okay so in tapeworm also you can see both male and female organs so tapeworm present in the intestine of the cattle and can be enter into the body of human through cattle now cell division during gamete formation so whether the gamete produced by haploid or diploid parent gamete were always haploid so in this you can see if the parent cell is haploid the cell the dna present in the cell will replicate and produces two daughter cell and both will contain each copy of the dna and will be similar to its parent cell and is haploid its example is monera fungi algae and bryophyte now you can see parent cell if the parent cell is diploid the dna will replicate and produce the two daughter cell so the half of the number of chromosome will uh, go into each daughter cell so this is now the haploid condition and after that this uh, these daughter cell will replicate uh, its dna into two and produces two daughter cell again and now you can see the four daughter cells having haploid cell okay so this you can see in pteridophyte gymnosperm angiosperm and human in human 
we have seen in spermatogenesis and oogenesis how from the diploid parent cell a haploid daughter cell were formed uh, haploid gametes were formed now gamete transfer when the male gamete is transferred into the female gamete which is stationary and male gamete is always motile so there is a movement in male gamete but there is no movement in female gamete female gamete is always stationary exception is some fungi in which both the gametes are motile uh, like in some algae bryophyte teredophyte water is the medium in which the gamete is transferred in seeded plant uh, like flowering plant pollen grain are the carrier of the male gamete so we will discuss this by this diagram this is the female reproductive organ called pistil and this is the male reproductive organ called stamen stamen has anther this is the anther part so anther produces pollen grain anther will produce pollen grain so pollen grain has male gametes which is this is these are the pollen grains which is transferred to the stigma of female reproductive organ ovary through wind water insect and various other medium and this transfer of pollen grain to the stigma after that it will reach to the female gamete ovules and fuses uh, after the fusion it will form zygote so the transfer of the male gamete to the female gamete is called pollination so in so now in higher organism uh, higher animals direct physical contact is necessary for the transfer of gametes so the male produce several thousand time more than the uh, gametes more than the female as while the transport there was some loss of male gamete so to compensate the loss in transport there is the more production of uh, male gametes okay thank you for watching our video subscribe exam hai on youtube like our videos and also comment thank you